again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Texians brand, T-E-K-C-I-A-N-S, their space heater. And this is one of these types that uses a really fast PTC, fast heating ceramic heater. Has a built-in timer and it will oscillate left to right, 120 degrees. Has a remote control, so you can control everything that's on this top panel here. And this company provides a one-year warranty on this product. And it gets really good high ratings of 4.5 stars. I'm going to show a slide of that. We're going to go over some of the details of this. It's a really nice little heater that I just bought. I have a little movie theater in my basement. And it gets really cold because it's a basement theater. And it has some moisture in there. So I thought this is the perfect thing to use, a heater to keep me a little warm when I'm watching a movie or a show and get some of that moisture out. That's what I'm going to use it for. So this has a safety timer that will automatically shut off after it's running heat. Even though you hit the power button, it'll cycle down and wait 30 seconds. This is ETL rated. And before I show that, I want to show you the full view of this unit. It has a really nice little handle over here that's easy to hold. On the bottom right here, if your camera's picking it up, there is an ETL rating right there, which says that this is electrically very safe. They had to get a certificate number for that, and it's a very good thing for something that's electrical. It has the power and the voltage on there. You also notice there's a little micro switch right here, and that's a safety switch. If this gets tipped over, it will shut down. The back of the unit is right there where the intake is has a nice little pattern plastic on both sides and let's look at the top right here the top has the controls and it won't allow me to put it on because the unit is tipped but it has on off power timer and oscillation this is where the infrared sensor is so you should be pointing to the top of that that's why you don't want to cover that up it says do not cover it comes with a nice little instruction booklet talking about how to contact them and warranty information. And I like that it has this really long flexible plug on there. This is about five and a half feet long. Very generous for a heater so that you don't have to use an extension cord, which is nice. So it's very simple to operate. Let's look at the remote right here. Let's turn the unit on. You hear a beep. Now when you first turn the unit on, you can hear it's very quiet. And there's no heat for the first time you turn it on. This is just air flowing through it. If I want to rotate, I hit the oscillation button. And now it rotates. And what's really clever about a design like this is that it's very low down the rotation. So that it's very uh, stable. It doesn't have a really tall unit that has a lot of force on those bushings. So this is so low down, you can't even see it. It's like a quarter of an inch off the table. That means that that bushing is going to last a really long time. You don't have to worry about the forces on there. Because this is only about a foot high. So, so the next setting is you go to the heat setting. Let's hit that. And the display on top shows the first setting. And that's putting about... This, this, that's putting 750 watts of heat out and I can feel it, it feels really good. And then the next setting on here, you hit it again and it goes to H2 on top there on the display and now it's putting out 1500 watts of heat and it feels really, really good. Now you do have a timer on here and you could, you could set it for whatever time you want. Uh, from zero to nine hours. And you could also put the timer on just touching the buttons on top right here. So now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn this off using the off. And you notice it stops rotating, but for 30 seconds, the unit is gonna keep going and there's a timer on top. You can't see, but it's counting down. And what that's doing is that's cooling the unit down for safety and stability before it shuts down. So let's see what happens after the 30 seconds has elapsed. And there you see it shut down automatically. 
So it's really nice because you have these controls on top or duplicated there. So if you did lose your remote and you're waiting for to get another one from the company, you can use the controls up here to duplicate what is on the remote. There also is a light button on here. I couldn't figure out what that was. And what that does is that turns the display on top on and off. So if you're using this at night, you don't have to put any ex extra light from the display. So that was a smart idea also. Now this uses the standard little tiny batteries that you can get anywhere. You can just open this up, pushing that tab in, and it uses these standard batteries. You can get, they're called the CR2025. Very easy to get anywhere. But they should last you a good, about a year and a half with that one battery. So this is a great product. Um, I'm glad I got it because I'm using it in my movie theater. This Texans brand electric portal space heater is a great value and it works really nicely. Now I'm going to demonstrate the tipping safety function. Let's say you have a pet, a dog, a cat, any animal, and they accidentally knock this over and it instantly, just with, as soon as I change the angle, it shuts down for safety. And then when you put it back, you get a beep and it won't turn on again until you turn it on again with the remote. So that's a real nice safety feature to have. So here I have a watt meter going just out of curiosity. So I have it rotating and I have it on just the cool setting and you can see that it's drawing nine watts. Now I'm going to put the first level of heat and you see it's jumping up to the higher setting and showing about about 800 watts coming out. Now I'm going to go on the highest heat setting and now you see the watt meter responds and it's showing you the wattage is going up to almost 1600. Now it's going to stabilize and drop down a little bit but that's exactly what you want. It's showing the three different levels of power that this unit has. Let's take a look at the temperature that's coming out of this because it's warming me up really nice here. 252 degrees coming out of this. Really nice. And it works really nicely and it's one of these products that you're going to want to have in your basement or in your bedroom on a night table while you're cooking in your kitchen if you're cold. You know what's nice is you could run your house at 68 degrees put this locally where you're at and you could save a ton of energy which is great. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.